This video does presume some prior knowledge to using Make and the fact that you have an active Make account. If you don't have a Make account, please use my affiliate link in the description below. If you've used Make and Knack before, you'll be aware that there are various ways of triggering your scenario via different types of webhook, either on a record creation, a record edit, or a form submission. Unfortunately, none of these methods enable you to be able to refresh a table once the scenario is completed. By using the JavaScript webhook, you can send a response back at the end of your scenario and refresh the table, making it a much more intuitive process for the user. There's a link in the video description to a document which contains the JavaScript code and a detailed explanation of what each line does. Don't forget, I'm not a coder, but this is a pretty intuitive bit of code and it's just a copy and paste replacing a couple of views. So I'm inside Make and I'm creating a new scenario. So simply click on the icon and in search applications, we want to look for webhooks. Choose the webhooks module at the top and custom webhook. I need to create a hook. I like to give this a more meaningful name. So in this case, it's going to be create a multi-line invoice and click on save. I'm gonna copy the address to the clipboard and just paste this into notepad. So this is the web address or the URL that we're gonna send Nax record ID to. So this is the hook that will receive that information. So I click OK on here, and before I do any more, I'm just going to rename this scenario to the same as the webhook. So the scenario will also be called Create Multi-Line Invoice. I'll come down the bottom and click Save, and I'm now going to turn this on so it's here running, ready to receive some data. So back over to NAC, I'm in the API and code section under JavaScript and the code you can get from the link in the description below. Uh, the uh, information that I provided also gives you a breakdown of what each line of the code does. As I've mentioned many times before, I'm not a coder, but this is pretty straightforward and fairly intuitive. First thing we need to do is to change the uh, URL. So highlight from HTTPS up to and just before the question mark and paste in your new URL from your JavaScript module. And the other things we will need to consider is the view number for the form that you submit and the view number for the table that you wish to refresh. So I'm just going to save my code and head over to my pages. And on my table of invoices, I have my button here, which will open a modal pop-up. And this is the form that will trigger the JavaScript. So this is view 46, and the table that I wish to refresh is the invoice table, and if I click on that, I can see in the URL that this is view six. So in my JavaScript, the NAC form that submits is 46, and the view to fetch is view six. Just before I press the create the PDF button, I want to explain, in case you're not aware, how record IDs work in NAC. Now, this is an invoice record sitting in my invoice table, and this is invoice number 11. But if I view this record, you can see at the top of the screen, because I'm now inside invoice 11, that this is the record ID ending in 462. And this is the unique 24 digit record ID that we'll be sending to make. So I split my screen so you can see that when I run the scenario, the data will be received on the webhook. So I'm gonna click on the PDF. This opens my form and on form submit, it will send the record ID to the URL. And you can see on the right hand side here that I've received a packet of data and it's the record ID ending in 462. So now that I've got my record ID, I need to look up the rest of the record related to this record ID. And to do that, I need to add a NAC module. So I'm going to add another module, search for NAC, and use the get a record. This returns details about a record specified by its ID. If you don't have a connection to your application, then we click on add, give the connection a suitable name, and then we need to add the application ID and the API key from NAC. If you head over to NAC and go to settings, API and code, you will see your application ID and API keys listed. Simply paste those in and click save and NAC will establish a connection. And now you will have a list of the objects inside your application. This particular record we're looking for is coming from my invoice table. And I want to look it up based on the record ID. 
and the record ID is coming from the previous module. And when I hover over the module pulses, so I can use that to look up the record ID based on this ID. So I'm going to run the scenario once more. I like to test them in steps as I build them. So I'm going to create my PDF and you can see the first module fired and the second module also fired. And then the second module, we ended up pulling through all the information relating to that record, the auto increment, the invoice number, who added it, the name, company details, etc. So this is all the information that comes from the NAC record. As a side by side, this is the record in the invoice table. And as you can see, if I scroll through, the information is exactly the same. So the date due, 26th of the 12th, is shown on the right hand side here under date due. And Make actually breaks it down into various different formats, which is really useful to use in uh, different use cases. That concludes building the JavaScript module and pulling the record ID through from NAC to Make. In the next video, we'll be starting to build out the process. The next module, we'll be looking up the company information.